And just a reminder, please spell your first and last names for the court reporter. My name is Alton Paul Burns, A L T O N P A U L B U R N S. My name is Alfred Paul Burns, I'm a lifelong resident of Thomas County, and I thank you for allowing me the opportunity to come here and express my concerns. You tell us that the adverse effects to the environment of this pipeline will be less than significant. Spectre tells us that the safety record is better than average. But every time that there is a pipeline rupture or an explosion, you tell us that you're sorry and you don't understand how this could happen. And it happens again, again, and again. These pipelines have thousands of gallons of PCBs injected to lubricate the inside of the pipe. The product they carry have contaminated billions of gallons of water to extract the gas from deep within the earth. There's no denying the devastation that is caused by the coal, oil, and gas industries every day in this country. So why should we, the people of Alabama, Georgia, and Florida, accept the risk of destroying our new drinking water for the profits of this private company from Texas? Truly, I say to you that our water, soil, and air is worth more than your gas. We do not need this dangerous pipeline. There's no public convenience and necessity. Only hazards that this project will pose to the communities which, to which it will transverse. Five counties and two of the largest cities in Georgia that lie on the path of it have passed resolutions against this pipeline. And I stand with thousands of other citizens against it and ask you to place the safety and public health of the citizens above the corporate profits of this foreign invader to deny permission to safe and trail transmission. There are safer alternatives. There's renewable energy like wind and solar. We can even harness the energy from the waves of the ocean and the currents beneath the sea. A lot of good jobs there, no doubt. I was so moved by this that I had a 7 kW solar panel races that installed at my home this year. It pollutes no air, no water, and it doesn't pollute the soil. And it created a lot of green jobs. I encourage everyone to follow my lead on that. The time is now to curb our carbon emissions and to protect our precious water and soil. We, and then all future generations will know that we left the left, left legacy behind that activists like myself came and spoke in defense of the earth and tried to warn you. Even the Pope just came from halfway around the world to warn you. So in closing, I'm going to tell you that this earth does not belong to us. And we must be the change that we wish to see in this world. And I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Uh, Mr. John Porterman.